Hello everyone and welcome in this video. I am going to walk you through the complete process of installing Apache Spark on Hadoop environment. In this video, I will explain every step involved in setting up Apache Spark on Hadoop environment. We will start by ensuring that Hadoop and its services are running properly. Then we will download and configure Apache Spark, set up the necessary environment variable and integrate it with Hadoop. And finally, I will demonstrate how to verify the installation, start Spark services, and run a sample job to validate the setup. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a Spark running seamlessly alongside Hadoop. Ready to handle big data tasks efficiently? Let's get started. Before we begin, ensure that Hadoop is properly installed and running on your system. Additionally, Java must be installed. In this setup, I have already uh, opened JDK 11 install and make sure uh, your Hadoop version is compatible with the Spark version you plan to use. For this tutorial, I will be installing Spark 3.5.4 which is compatible uh, with Hadoop 3.3.6. So in my system, Hadoop is already installed. Let me show you uh, how to start the services using the start hyphen all dot sh command Here you can see uh, that all the services are running. Now let's move forward with the Spark installation. Let's start by downloading the pre-built Spark package for Hadoop. Open your terminal and enter the command wget and the link of the Spark package. This command fetched the Spark package directly from the official Apache Spark repository. Once the download is complete, we will extract it.
Next, we need to extract the downloaded tar.gz file using the tar space hyphen xzvf command, then space and then file name. After extraction, a folder name will appear in your current directory. Now we will move this folder to a standard location for easier management. Now using yumv command to move the file spark folder. So this command spark in the slash use usr slash local directory which is commonly used for the software installation on Linux system. Now let's configure the environmental variable for spark. Open the .bashrc file for editing using the nano space till slash dot bash rc command. Add these lines at the end of the file. These lines set the location of the spark installation directory and add sparks binary and sbin directory to the system path. This ensures you can run spark command from any terminal session. Save and exit the editor by pressing Ctrl plus X then press Y and enter. Now to apply the changes, just run this command source space tilde slash dot bash rc. Now to enable spark to work seamlessly with Hadoop, we will first create a log directory for spark. This command creates a directory named logs under the spark installation folder where spark will store its log. And this command changes the permission of, the dire of this directory to allow read, write and execute access for all the users. Next we will configure the spark-env.sh file. Copy the template configuration file to create a new one. This command copies the default spark environment configuration file to create a new editable file. And this command opens this file in a text editor for modification. Add this line in the file. These lines specify the path to Java, Hadoop and the spark logs directory. They also add Hadoop binaries to the path for easy access to Hadoop command. Save and exit the file. Now to confirm the Spark is installed correctly, let's run the Spark shell. For that just type Spark hyphen shell. If the install is successful, you will see the welcome message from the Spark shell along with version details. Now start the Spark services. So start the Spark master service by running start hyphen master dot sh. The master service will start and you will see the URL for the Spark web UI. Open your browser and navigate to http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080. This is the Spark master web UI where you can monitor your Spark cluster. Next, start a Spark worker service using start hyphen worker dot sh space then your master hostname. Now to clean the log to confirm that the master started successfully, run this command cat space dollar spark underscore home slash log slash tar dot out. To verify the complete setup, let's run a sample spark job. First, ensure appropriate permission for the example jar file. When the permission is granted, 
then submit a job using the spark hyphen submit command this command submit a spark job to calculate approximately value of py pi using the spark pi example the hyphen hyphen class like specify the main class of the application in this case org dot apache dot spark dot example dot spark pf and the hyphen hyphen master flag provide the url of the spark master to which the job should be submitted and finally the path to the jar file and the argument 10 indicate the application to be run and the number of tasks to be divided in computation into respectively This will run the Spark PI example program. When the job completes, you will see the output in the terminal, which include the calculated value of PI. Here you can see the PI value. Now open the Spark web UI in your browser at localhost colon 8080. Under the running application or completed application section, find the job name Spark PI. Click on it to view details, logs, and metrics. You can also explore logs from uh, executors and check std out or std err for specific output. So that's it. We have successfully installed Apache Spark on your uh, Hadoop environment and run your first job. With this setup, uh, we are ready to explore the incredible capabilities of Spark for big data processing. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.